So this is my still life scene, which is lit by an LED light in the back here and one on the side here. It's a simple, simple scene, but it works very well for black and white. So on this channel, I explore both digital and analog and alternative photography. And if this interests you, this mix, please do subscribe to my channel. Uh, I hope to bring a video usually every week or at least every two weeks. So I thought it would be fun to ask my followers on Instagram what film I would use on my next video. The clear winner seemed to be former Pan. In this video, we're going to explore still life photography using a Yashica Mat 124 medium format camera loaded with format film. This is a black and white film rated at 200 ASA. I'm going to shoot it at box speed. Kind of standard stuff, but I'm going to take stuff out of my fridge and we're just going to make some images. Some garlic, pomegranate, grapefruit, orange, apple, whatever we find. And if you're stuck indoors, you can't get out, are you in lockdown, or it's some really bad weather outside, this project may well be suited for you. I hope you enjoy it. So let's get started. So for still life photography, of course, we're going to need a camera and we need to get close to our subject. And in the case of the Yashica, I'm using these close up lenses. This is a number one and I use one for my viewing uh, lens here and one for my taking lens. This allows me to get much closer to what I want to photograph. Also, I have a cable release, which is, which is very important when working with a tripod. And that's another thing you should use is a tripod as well as a light meter just to get your exposure bang on so that you expose for the right part of the image whether it's for the shadows or for the highlights or whatever look you're going for and that's important that you have such a thing as a light meter but all in all if you're going to do still life photography you can you can use either an analog camera digital camera any camera that's capable of getting close to your subject So now that I had tightened up my tripod, I set up my lights at one on either side. I have two LED lights where I can actually control the intensity and I just move them back and forth a little uh, so I can decide where the light will fall, what kind of you know pool of light I want. I'm kind of trying to simulate if it was light from a window. I mean, of course, it would be nice to use natural light, but in my situation, I don't really have a room that offers offers that in, in a way that I could control. And that's the joy of using such small lights and they're quite inexpensive. So the setup is quite simple. You need a tripod, a cable release and some small lights. Of course, you could use other light sources as well. Choosing a subject for still life photography uh, is really up to whatever you're interested in. Uh, in my case, <laughs> I took a shot of radish. Uh, I thought it'd be an interesting shot. It wasn't too bad, um, better than I expected. The other shots of an apple and some eggs, uh, polygramet. Polygramet is a very good subject actually. Uh, it's just got that texture, it's got the shape, the form. Um, you can do a lot with it. Of course, a lot of people have done this before, um, but it's a good one to start with. The apple, of course. So it took me a while to get a good composition of the apple here. I moved the lights around a bit. I moved my camera up and down, and that's important with a camera that is a TLR because you've got the viewing lens at the top and the taking lens in the bottom and you need to adjust for that. On the Yashica I just use one of the, the grid lines in the viewfinder and I I move it up by by one of those grid lines so it's about, about a centimeter when you look through the viewfinder. 
So it started to snow outside and I continued doing my still life photography and I was getting creative on what subjects to use and raiding the fridge and trying out different things before I was getting in trouble. <laughs> no, not really. Um, but it really is fun to try this out and I had a lot of fun doing this. I really did. So now I'm trying with a black background and I'm going to photograph this film found in the bottom of the fridge. Um, it's going to be an interesting subject. I was getting quite adventurous at the end of the of the shoot and I ran out of film unfortunately. I used the digital camera as well to give me an idea of what I was going to expect on film. The film was developed in Ilford DDX for 6 minutes, first 30 seconds with gentle aggregation and then 10 seconds for every minute. I would definitely recommend uh, trying out a bit of still life photography, whether it's on digital or analog. Um, be creative, keep it simple, the compositions, um, yeah, it's kind of a classic form. Uh, I wanted to, to do more stuff with like kind of dried flowers and, you know, dead fish or whatever, but uh, unfortunately we're, locked, we're in lockdown here, so uh, those things are not quite readily at hand. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've got something out of it. And if you have, or if you've got any questions, please leave a comment down below. And if you've got an idea for my next video, or if you're on lockdown, um, yeah, tell me about it. What are you doing photography wise? So see you on the next video.